Hey guys, in this video, we are going to talk about how to embed your copyright information inside of your images. Now, this is not a watermark where people can read uh, on the outside your company name or your name. This is actually hidden inside of the image so that as it gets passed around on the web, your information goes with it. Now, this information can be stripped out, and so someone who's savvy would you know, if they're stealing your images, would strip that out. But for the average user, um, this is a great way just to keep your copyright information inside of um, your images. So let's go to the import dialog box. I just clicked on import from the library module. If you go over here to the apply during import um, panel, you'll see the metadata um, pull down menu. And this is where we will go to create that preset that will embed our copyright information in there. So let's click on new and that will bring up the dialog box that shows us the options. So you can see that there is a ton of information that we can embed from the keywords that we set in Lightroom, uh, the star rating, the color labels, captions, um, so we can set a lot of information in here. But what we want to focus on are these two boxes, the IPTC copyright and the IPTC uh, creator. And so what we want to do is, first off, we want to enter our copyright. And so we do the copyright symbol by, on a Mac, holding down the Option key and hitting the G key. On a PC, you would hold the Alt key down while you type in 0169. And so we have our copyright symbol now, and we can put a year here if we want, or we could leave it without a year. Now, the benefit of having a year is that it records the year that we actually shot the image. But the problem with the year is that each and every year we would need to update this metadata preset. So you can do whatever you would please. I'm going to leave it out. Then we go to the copyright status whether the image is copyrighted or public domain. So let's select copyrighted. And then we have our, let's go to our copyright info, info URL. So, so in here, we would type a website or a web address that has um, our copyright information there. And so if you haven't created that, you could create it or you could just put your contact link right there, whatever is easiest for you. Okay, and then your email address, which is important. And then your website. Actually, I forgot my S's here. All right, now I gotta put an S up here too. Okay. So that's now been created. Now we need to title this preset. We need to give this preset a name. And so I'm gonna do the copyright symbol again. And I'm gonna type in Lightroom Hero. And so if I click Create, that preset is now set. And you'll see under Metadata, there's its name right there. And so whenever I'm importing pictures, this will default to this if I haven't changed it since. I could create lots of different presets. Uh, for example, if I'm shooting some images or my wife is shooting some images or let's say I have a second photographer shooting images and, and one thing to know, if you hire a second photographer and they push the button on the camera, they own that copyright um, unless you have it specifically spelled out in your contract with them. So that's just something to be aware of. But I could set as many metadata presets as I want here, um, but I'm just going to have this one that records my copyright information into all of my images. So as I loaded my images in here and then clicked on import, this information would get embedded inside the file. And that's it. That's all you have to do to uh, create or embed uh, copyright information inside of your images.